Not many people know this, but the catalytic converter in your car is in very high demand among thieves. If you live in Houston like I used to, there's a huge theft ring for catalytic converters. And even if you don't live in Houston, you'll want to hear about this because it's happening nationwide. Today, I'm talking about orchestrated crime rings that steal catalytic converters. Your car may very well be next. So stay tuned to learn why thieves want your catalytic converter and how fast they can nab yours. And believe it or not, it takes just a few minutes. It also lists the top car brands and models that thieves prefer, and how you can protect your car and reduce your chances of being a victim of catalytic converter theft. Houston, we have a problem. Here's the thing. In the first six months of this year alone, Houston police received reports of more than 6,000 catalytic converter thefts. Recently, police in Houston did a series of raids and caught thieves hoarding $1 million worth of catalytic converters. The stolen parts were spread across seven different storage locations in Houston. In one location alone, almost 500 catalytic converters were found. Evidently, the group was shipping out stolen catalytic converters to buyers out of state. We're talking about organized operation here, which police believe handled some $12 million in total theft over some time. And get this, the most common target of the theft is the Toyota Tundra. I'll get more into the top cars thieves prefer in a few minutes. Now, if you think it's just a bunch of rebellious teenagers, well, you're wrong. Reports confirmed that it was conducted by a well-orchestrated crime organization. Apparently, they used social media to advertise prices for catalytic converters on specific car models. The thieves, or cutters as they're known, would then go under cars, remove the catalytic converters, and then sell them to the organization, sometimes two to ten catalytic converters at a time. This particular case was in Houston, but this is happening nationwide, and the scene is changing for the worse. Police across the state have been seeing a significant increase in the sheer amount of catalytic converter thefts. Back in 2018, there were almost 1,300 reported catalytic converter thefts across the U.S. Fast forward two years, and the number of stolen converters exceeded 14,000. Fast forward another year, and just the first six months of 2021, the number of reported thefts jumped to 25,969. And this year, it'll be even higher. To understand why, we need look at catalytic converter and understand why thieves target it. Basically, catalytic converter is a device that's installed in the exhaust system of a car between the engine and the muffler. Its purpose is to help decrease the number of harmful pollutants released into the atmosphere by engine exhaust. It's like a chemical filter. A catalytic converter is made of three precious metals, palladium, rhodium, and platinum. These metals help in the reaction to convert nitrogen oxide, hydrocarbons, and carbon monoxide into less harmful nitrogen, water vapor, and carbon dioxide. The converter is close to the car's engine, so it can have the heat it needs for this conversion, and some cars have multiple converters. Since the 1970s, catalytic converters have been commonly used in most cars. Your average catalytic converter lasts about 10 years, depending on how much you drive your car, and they come in different sizes. A small converter is about the size of a loaf of bread. A large converter can be three times bigger. These converters are very important, especially if you drive a gas-powered car that needs to pass an emissions inspection. Without a catalytic converter, your vehicle won't pass the test. Anyway, these converters are mounted in the bottom of your car. And that's where the problem starts. They're just too easy to find and steal. An experienced thief can remove a converter with a battery-powered reciprocal saw or a basic tool. They just cut the catalytic converter right off the exhaust line, and they can do this in just minutes. Catalytic converters have become even more valuable on the black market because the rare metals that make them work are soaring in value. Just take a look at palladium and rhodium, for example. Five years ago, palladium sold for 500 bucks an ounce. Today, it's trading at over $2,000 an ounce. Five years ago, rhodium sold for $640. Today, it's a jaw-dropping $4,800 an ounce, and it gets worse. Hybrid vehicles contain even newer and more advanced models of catalytic converters. They also don't run as hot as gas-powered vehicles. Hybrids are highly targeted because their converters contain more precious metals. Thieves are more likely to target taller cars like SUVs because they usually have higher ground clearance, which means they're easier to get underneath without having to jack them up. The most expensive catalytic converter on the market is an the Ferrari F430. Actually, the F430 has two catalytic converters. The car has low ground clearance, which makes it harder for thieves. Now, if you have a Toyota Tundra, watch out. Statistics show that the owners of a Toyota Tundra are the most likely to become a victim of catalytic converter theft. So why do thieves especially love the Tundra? Well, for one, each Toyota Tundra has four catalytic converters on it, so thieves get four for the effort. Also, the factory suspension height in the Tundra is very high. This makes it easier for the cutter to slide under your car and steal it. But if you want to know the biggest reason why Toyota Tundras get their catalytic converters stolen the most compared to other car models, it's known that Toyota uses more precious metals in their catalytic 
catalytic converters than other car brands. If your catalytic converter gets stolen, it can put you out some $1,800 to $3,000 to get it replaced on these. Last year, 26 states, including Ohio, Maine, New Mexico, and Oregon, proposed bills to help curb the theft of these devices. Ten other states passed legislation and strengthened existing laws. Some are looking at legislation that would make it illegal for shops to purchase catalytic converters that aren't already connected to a vehicle. Despite all efforts, it doesn't change the fact that stealing a catalytic converter is very easy to do. Houston is not alone in high theft rates. It's spreading across the nation like a pandemic. Recently, one entrepreneurial thief in Connecticut cut catalytic converters out of 18 school buses in one night. So now that you're aware, you know too that there are some things you can do to make it harder for thieves to steal your catalytic converter. Put simply, you want to make it as hard as possible for a thief to steal it. Thieves are opportunists. If it looks too complicated, a thief will move on to another car that's easier. Here are some practical tips. First off, you can get your catalytic converter etched. Go to most police departments and they'll happily etch your license plate onto your car's catalytic converter for free. Some off the shops will also do it without charge. If a converter can be identified, thieves will have a much harder time trying to sell it. That's why Etching your converter with your license plate number in effect makes your converter almost worthless to them. Next up, try to park indoors if possible. Remember that thieves look for easy targets with your cars that are in front of them. They rarely care to break into garages. Also, look for cameras while parking. Try to choose parking garages and parking lots that have cameras and try to park in a well-lit area near the cameras. The fact is that a thief will be less likely to steal a converter when they think they're going to be seen on camera. Speaking of cameras, you could also install a dash camera. Many dash cameras have motion sensors and will start recording if anyone or anything comes close to your car. Another option is to install an anti-theft device. Some car shops actually even offer shields that are designed to make a catalytic converter harder to remove. Right now, there aren't any concrete studies available on how well these shields work, but by principle, if the thief sees a shield or cover, they're more likely than not to move on to the next car that doesn't have a shield on it. Now, some people also tell you to paint your converter with identifying information to deter thieves. But if you ask me, that's a lot of work for nothing. Catalytic converters get hot. I mean, really, really hot. All that heat day after day is enough to burn off anything, even high heat paint. So how can you tell if it's stolen? Well, the good thing is you'll definitely know as soon as you start the engine. When your car's catalytic converter has been stolen, your vehicle will make a loud roaring sound. And as you push the gas pedal, the sound will get even louder. As you change speed, your car also might make a sputtering sound. You also notice your car's not driving smoothly. If you notice an increase in the exhaust or exhaust smells, that's another sign of a stolen catalytic converter. What can you do if your catalytic converter is stolen? Well, the average cost to replace it can run up to $3,000. Unless you have a Ferrari F430, in which case you're looking at at least seven. 75, 40 plus labor to replace both converters. In 2020, car insurance claims for a stolen catalytic converter range from $500 to $3,000, and it's usually covered under the comprehensive portion of your insurance for theft. So you might want to call your insurance provider to confirm your comprehensive coverage. But it's not just catalytic converters that's on the rise. More and more cars in general are being stolen every year. Last year, the rate of car theft increased 8% from 2020. And recovering a stolen car isn't an easy process. Although, as a side note, did you notice that car thefts get reported within the first 24 hours have a 34% chance of recovery? If you're wondering which car models get stolen the most, here's the rundown. If you want a full-size Chevy pickup truck, I got bad news for you. Those are the most stolen vehicles right now in the U.S. Last year, more than 48,000 Chevrolet full-size pickups were stolen. Full-size Ford pickups take the number two spot at nearly the same volume. The most commonly stolen models of Chevy and Ford trucks were 2004 and 2007. Hondas from the late 1990s and early 2000s are also notorious for being stolen. Specifically, the Honda Civic and the Honda Accord take third and fourth place on the top stolen models list. The model year 2000 is the most stolen of the Honda Civic. For the Honda Accord, believe it or not, the model year 1997 is the most popular among thieves. Other model thieves love include Toyota Corolla, Toyota Camry, Nissan Altima, and Honda CRV, followed by Jeep Cherokees and the Grand Cherokees. If you're wondering why thieves even care for these older models, it's simple. Older trucks and cars lack the anti theft technology and electronic vehicle immobilizers that newer cars have. Let's see where the most and least car thefts take place in America. Up top is Washington, D.C. Their theft rate was 563 out of every 100,000 residents. Thefts in D.C. have jumped up 40% since 2019. Colorado comes in second with a theft rate of 502 for every 100,000 cars. And California is in third place. Vermont, on the other hand, has the lowest number of vehicle thefts, followed by Maine and Wyoming. Did you know that between 2016 and 2018, more than 229,000 vehicle thefts happened after drivers left the keys in their cars? Just how much is vehicle theft costing people? In 2020, the FBI 
estimated some $7 billion was lost through the car theft. The average theft resulted in a loss of over $9,200 bucks to the owner. Motorcycle thefts are also at a record high. In 2020, motorcycle thefts grew some 30% compared to the year prior. But now you tell me, have you or someone you know been a victim of car theft or theft of your catalytic converter? Please share your experience by commenting below. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for your support.